been to the gym I go to as a physio and done work out there. Uh, when you do want to start losing weight, if you can, you try to do intermittent fasting. So I don't eat breakfast and I'll wait until after 12 o'clock to eat. And I'll eat between 12 o'clock and six o'clock at night and just have two smallish meals, nothing too big. So it's now 10 to three. I've drunk in a liter of water already and I'll drink another liter in the next half an hour sort of thing. So usually around three liters of water a day, just small meals and do some exercise. That's pretty much the basics of losing weight when you can't walk or run. So did some weights at the gym and a couple other things like that. Uh, yeah, so just get some meat and show you what that is for lunch. So what I'm gonna have for lunch is just a tin of tuna and some crustets. Especially after a normal workout, and you don't, if you don't feel like eating, it's a hot day today too. It's 41 degrees over here in Perth, which is, I don't know what it is, Fahrenheit, hot or something. So, yeah, if you don't feel like eating much for lunch, have a small meal now, and then when it gets cooler during the night, you can have your bigger meal then. So, yeah, I'm just going to have tuna and crustets. Uh, what's this one? Sweet corn and mayonnaise. I'm not having that. I don't want mayonnaise when it's hot. What else have we got? Ground. So the dog doesn't eat them, otherwise we would just eat the plastic and the tin and cost me another bit bill. Come on, stop in the door. Ah, there we go. Cool. Alright, got our tuna tuna. plastic plates because the amount of times I've dropped them is absolutely crazy and if they were glass they were smashed so with the plastic plates just easily pick it up and when there's food on it you can even hold it in your mouth to carry it around if you're going onto the table so spin around the other side of the bench and let's get this soup this ugh. Spin around the other side of the bench and get this food sorted out. Gonna need a fork to open the tuna. So I keep my crust kits in a container like this, just so it's easy to get to and they don't go off. And I can open and shut this myself with the little clips on the side. So whenever I get a new box of crust kits, I'll chuck them in here. The other thing you can have the tuna with his vital wheats, they're not bad. So two cruskets and a tin of tuna for lunch. If the camera is a bit weird of an angle, I uh, lost my tripod, I don't know where it is, so at the moment it's leaning up against three water bottles on the bench.
what you do is put the fork in your mouth and get one of the little prongs underneath the little ring pull. It does take a bit. You get it on the inside. See what? See that there? Yeah, it's going across that way. And then all you do is twist the fork around a bit, bend it up a little until you can then get it underneath the back side here yeah, because it lifts up a bit of the back. You can slide, slide the stroke, fork straight in that way and then bury it up. Once it's bent up, about that much. Oh, geez. Once it's bent up enough where you can put your teeth underneath. Bend it down that way. And then you can just bite it again and rip it back. Or you could ask your carers in the morning or your family members to open it, but I forget sometimes. So I'll just learn how to do it myself. Oh, spilt on the bench. Drop that sink. Just sit the can on the plate like that. If you want to eat it straight out of the can, you can, but I like to tip it out. So I've, years ago when I was first in the chair, I went on a boat cruise for my cousin's 21st. Chuck up some photos of that, that was sick time. Yeah, so you can see how round my face is in most of these photos. It's just because I ballooned up, put on heaps of weight, and took a while to lose it all. It was only took two, three weeks of eating and drinking to put the weight on. So, yeah, you can see I got the double chin there, and I had a bit of a pudgy belly as well, so big round face. Yeah, so that's what I was like on the boat cruise. It took about seven, eight months to lose it all. If ever you're in a wheelchair and want a good holiday, go on a boat cruise. But don't go well, it's all coronavirus. That's just nuts. And went on, boat, went on this boat cruise, and it's free alcohol. No, not free alcohol, sorry, free food. And you just pay for your alcohol. So for two weeks, I just drank and ate. Look out, Cash. Move. Stand, stand, stand. Yeah, so for two weeks, I just drank and ate. I'd go and get up in the morning, 6.30. Have bacon and eggs for breakfast, and then I'd have a cocktail, whatever they were having. It changed every day, the cocktails, so I'd just have cocktail a day, whatever it is, mix it with jacks, have beers, yoga bombs, everything, until lunch, and then I'd go and have some more lunch, something to eat, and then it would go night time, and I'd go to the nightclub and the casino, and I'd drink there until they shut at about two in the morning, and then I was going to the back deck and eating a pizza from the 24 hour pizza bar, and then I'd get to bed and I'd do the same thing the next morning. So I was in a constant state of drunk and full. So I put on, I think eight kilos in two weeks. So I was 70 kilos at the time. And I had to lose the weight after a while when my mum said that I had stretch marks and it was looking fat. So I went on this kind of diet uh, there was a few, you know, wraps, salads, that kind of thing. And I did intermittent fasting a little bit, not too much, because I was at home with my mum. There was always food getting made and stuff. But yeah, I would skip breakfast, eat lunch at about 12, and then have dinner. And that seemed to cut the weight down pretty quick. Not quick, but it took about eight months to get back to what I usually was. So, and then now I've put it back on just to make these kind of videos because I was unable to find any videos like this on YouTube. Of a quad. 
you know, living on his own, doing his own thing, losing weight. So, yeah. Anyway, this year's my Cruscuts and Tuna. Just have two of them. That'll get you through to about maybe five o'clock and I'll have something for dinner, maybe some soup or something. I even got chicken soup in the freezer, which I'll defrost, because made that when I was sick a while back, got my mum to do it. So she's, you know, chucked the whole chicken into the slow cooker and went through that way and did all that for us. So I got a nice chicken soup, which I can have for dinner. Nothing too heavy. And then, yeah, go from there. And then to wash down the lunch, a litre of water. Have it in a cordial bottle so you can leak your thumb through it. And uh, yeah, easily drink it. So I'll shift back and neck this water. Go from there. One litre of water. Here we go. Down the hatch. All done. That's another way to stop yourself being hungry. Drink some water. So yeah, drink a fair bit of water, about three liters, and stick under 1,200 calories. That's what I found for the amount of work and movement I do throughout the day. If I'm under 1,200 calories, it drops out not too not too long. So yeah. Anyway, cheers for watching. See you next time. You get your nose out of it. You get your nose out of it, little dog.